Hi everyone, Father Adrian here. Welcome to St. Bridget's Church here in Ballantyne. We're undertaking a lot of work here in the church over the next while, and one of the ways you can maybe help out and contribute it is we're putting in two, are we restoring two windows, I should say, here uh, in the sanctuary. The, for the purple great star at the moment, we're actually going to be putting in two stained glass windows. We already have acquired them, but of course that costs money. So any help that you can give in contributing to that would be greatly received here in the parish. So if you can donate, there is a, a link for you to do that on the Facebook, or you can send it in directly to us. Thank you, and um, say a prayer that we can complete this as we the script project. Thank you. Good morning on this beautiful morning, the 7th of March 2022. We are starting, I'm delighted to say, to open up the two windows now and preparing them for their frames and indeed, of course, the two stained glass windows that are going to be put in in a few weeks' time. As you can see, the guys made quick work of the first window. They have it knocked through and opened up and they are starting uh, soon on the second window. After 70 years of the two windows in the back of the sanctuary being blocked up, we're well underway in opening up the two windows. Hi everyone, just a little update on the windows. Uh, as you can see now, we have both windows knocked through. The lads have done great work and now we're preparing for the next stage of the windows. Good morning, uh, this is Monday the 4th of April, as you can see uh, the guys are doing a great job and they're now working on the sanctuary wall. Hi folks, uh, day 13 of the painting, uh, and this is the 11th of April and as you can see we are really getting through now the painting it's getting it's getting there hi folks uh day 13 of the painting uh and this is the 11th of april and as you can see we are really getting through now the painting it's getting it's getting there. Hi everyone, uh, just giving you a little a guided tour of the great work that has been done uh, in the last couple of weeks here in the chapel. And you can see the transformation uh, with the new paint scheme that was uh, given to us by a few ladies over in Letterkenny who certainly knew their job. So follow me as they say, and we'll show you a little bit of what has been done. I'm going to go down the stairwell. and into the main body of the church. And you can see how warm and bright the new color scheme is for the church. And you see up there on the top left of the screen, we have got new lights as well that brightens up the sanctuary. So 
So we're really looking forward to hearing the reactions of the people and seeing how much they uh, think of our new scheme and colours, but also brighten up the church. And we're looking forward as well, of course, over the next couple, couple of weeks, maybe next month or two, putting in our new two stained glass windows that will complete the job that we have begun. Thanks to everyone for all the good work they have done. And that's from the painting to the cleaning and uh, tidying up after all that has been done too. Uh, on the 9th of May, we can see that the windows are taking great shape. The guys are at the moment putting in the... On the 9th of May, we're getting close to uh, seeing the great shape of the windows here. Hi everyone, it's the 25th of May. As you can see, the outside window is in with its frame, and now you can see the white frame is also just waiting on its stained glass window. And there's a little bit of painting to be done, and that will be it. So looking forward to uh, seeing these two stained glass windows in the near future, hopefully. And just to explain the two windows, that the window on the right, as you look up in the sanctuary, will be that of the Sacred Heart. And as we move over, this window will be that for the Immaculate Heart of Our Lady. This has been the 26th of May, uh, just giving you a little glimpse of the outside of the windows and they are complete. Um, the guys have done an incredible job. The amount of work that has gone into these two windows is incredible and it's fantastic uh, that we're now this far on with the windows. Good morning everyone. This is Friday the 12th of August. Just giving you a little update on all of the restoration that has uh, taken place in the church to date. Um, we have now restored the sanctuary lamp to its center piece. We also have uh, the new lights that light up the sanctuary uh, on the left and on the right. Of course, we have the church all painted up now, all the interior. And as you can see, the two windows are ready and not very long now, and we will have the two uh, stained glass windows to put in. On the right hand side, we will have the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And on the left hand side, we will have the Immaculate Heart of Mary to complete all of the restoration for the 175 years since the first stones were uh, put into the foundation of this beautiful church. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the 28th of September 2022. A long way ago, we started the project of uh, refurbishing and uh, given the inside of St. Bridget's Church here in Ballantra a facelift, as they say. And uh, all began on the 7th of March uh, earlier this year. And now we have the final product. So I'm going to give you a little tour uh, of the whole of the church and all that has been done. It is looking beautiful and bright 
And uh, I got to admit, the colours have really warmed up and made it very prayerful here in the church. We already have a beautiful church, but it's just now given that little bit of TLC that it needed. We have our sanctuary lamp uh, restored and back into the middle of the sanctuary where it has its proud place. And we go to the two stained glass windows here on the right hand side of the sanctuary. It is the sacred heart. And we move over. To the Immaculate Heart of Our Lady. I hope you can come and not just see, but visit this place and um, say a little prayer in giving thanks to all, all of the great work that has been done here by so many people and so many uh, different aspects of the parish life, of people giving of their services and indeed their skills and indeed making our church that little bit more, as to say, prayerful, reverent, and warm in all the great work that has been done. Well done to everyone. Good Mila, my Ugat, Father Adrian. <laughs> 